If you're going on a cruise, one thing that might surprise you is the size of most of the cabins. While they are comfortable, they can be cozy. Whether you're sharing a stateroom with your partner, your kids, or friends, these tips will help you to store more in smaller cruise ship cabins. Now, if you're sailing in one of the suites, you can skip this video. However, if you're like 90% of the people on board, then you can use all the cruise cabin hacks that you can get. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, don't worry if you're going on a cruise, the cruise ship cabins aren't that small, but they really are compact. And there are ways that you can actually add storage to your cabins, not only by bringing things with you, but by actually finding some of those hidden spaces that are available in cruise ship cabins. Now in this video, I'm gonna share 12 smart ways that you can store more in your cruise ship cabin and organize more efficiently. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, use packing cubes as a storage system. Now packing cubes, obviously they have their benefits when it comes to packing, but they are really smart when it comes to organizing your cruise cabin. Now basically what you'll wanna do is make sure that everybody in the cabin has a different color of packing cubes. And this way, everybody, when they do put their items on the shelf, people can take their entire packing cube out rather than needing an actual shelf just for them. Now packing cubes of various sizes can be stored in the drawers, on the shelves, in the bedside tables, and in a worst case scenario, they can be left inside your luggage and that can be tucked under the bed. Number two, use an over the door hanging shoe organizer. Now you don't really wanna use this for shoes, but you wanna use it perhaps for everything else. Now this has been a cruise cabin hack and a favorite for many cruisers for years. Now, in particular, if you have more than two people in the cabin, or even if you have kids, you are going to find this tip a lifesaver. You're gonna to wanna to get one of these, hang it on your bathroom door, or even you can hang it right on the wall. I will share with you later on in the video how you will hang it on the wall. And you could store various items that are gonna be really handy for your kids or your spouse to just pick up as they need. Now, if you have young kids, I have a really smart tip for you. Something that you could do is you could use these hanging organizers and you could put your kids' clothes directly in them. So you could put together an outfit, for instance, shorts and a t-shirt, underwear and socks, and leave that in each individual pocket. Now, if you've been on a cruise already, please let me know if you do use an over-the-door hanging organizer and what you do store in it. Number three, collapsible storage boxes. Now, while you can pick these up on Amazon, honestly, you can pick these up at your local Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. They are very inexpensive. These foldable boxes fold up flat in your luggage and they can be used again and again. And you can use these for just about anything. We've used them in the past to put our flip-flops in, but you could find smaller boxes as well. And you can even use them to organize the drawers. Number four, the hanging shelf travel packing cube organizer. Now this is absolutely brilliant. And in particular, if you have a short cruise, so something that's four or five days, you could probably get your entire wardrobe in this hanging organizer. Number five, add extra hooks to your walls. Now you may have heard that cruise cabin walls most of the time are metal so you could bring heavy duty magnet hooks they do need to be heavy duty i will leave linked below my recommendation i do suggest that you go for something that's at least 50 to 75 pounds or more but in any case what you could do is you could add extra storage right on your walls so you could hang everything from hats to backpacks and this way things are out of the way they're on the wall and nobody is tripping over those items in your cabin now, a place that people don't often think about putting magnet hooks is actually in the bathroom, on the bathroom wall. So if you wanna hang your hanging toiletry bag there, you could do that. If you wanna hang maybe the robe in your cabin in your bathroom, you could do that too. Now, something that I've done before because some items are a little bit heavy is I've put two magnetic hooks side by side and that has done the trick. Now, alternatively, you can use command hooks. I did try them. They do really work, especially for lighter items like lanyards and sun hats. So that's another option as well. 
Number six, find that extra storage under your bed. So not only can you store your luggage right under your bed, get that out of there, but you can actually look for the extra drawers that are sometimes at the very bottom of the bed, or sometimes you might have a trundle bed or like a sofa bed in your cabin. Look under there. Oftentimes there are hidden drawers there as well. Number seven, store your valuables and your electronics in a locked cruise carry on bag. So your luggage could become a form of a large safe. Now I definitely use my in cabin safe for my passports and any money, jewelry, that kind of thing. But some items are bigger. So it might be a laptop. It might be handbags that are a little bit maybe more pricey that you don't want to necessarily leave out. Those are items you could put right into your carry on luggage. Make sure it does have a combination lock and just store that under your bed. Double up on hangers. Now, I always like to ask for some extra hangers. However, usually I do still double up on my hangers. Now, what I mean is if I have dresses or tops, I will put two on the same hanger. I've actually even been known to put three dresses that are light on the same hanger, but this does save a little bit of space in the closet, in particular when you might be sharing a closet with three or four people. Now, if you are worried about not having enough hangers, you can ask your cabin attendant. They will bring you extra hangers. And some people like to bring their own travel hangers with them. There are some foldable ones that are very lightweight that are available on Amazon. Look for those top spaces and high shelves. You will find that the very top of your closet, you're often going to have a shelf that is there. Now, I find that it's not a great usable shelf for me because I am short. However, what my husband and son do is they actually just leave their shoes, in particular their dress shoes or the shoes that they're not wearing all the time. They leave them there on the upper shelf. Check for tiny spaces. Now cruise cabins, the storage is very interesting because they are really trying to use every nook and cranny. And you are going to find small drawers sometimes where you don't expect them in the bathroom or even in the vanity. Sometimes they're almost a little bit hidden. You're also going to find sometimes behind the mirrors, you're going to find small shelves or in the side of the closet. It may look just like it's a decorative wall, but there are actually some small shelving there. So those are all places to look for a little bit of hidden storage. Number 11, a beach bag or tote bag. Now that tote bag or beach bag, you're going to be using it anyway. So why not keep that packed with some of the items that you're going to need to have in there anyway? So things like sunscreen, things like maybe your swimsuit cover up, maybe things like your book or even an iPad or a Kindle reader. Keep all of those items, even flip flops, just leave it in your beach bag or tote bag and it is going to be ready for you when you are ready to either go to the pool or go on a shore excursion. Now, by the way, if you're going on a cool weather cruise, so Alaska or Canada, New England, you probably won't have a big beach bag, but instead you are going to have a good sized backpack. You're going to want to have something that is water resistant. So likewise, put your poncho, umbrella, binoculars, anything like that, have that ready and keep it stored in your backpack. Look for hidden storage in the coffee table or in the ottoman. So sometimes you're going to find that even in the stool at the desk, if you lift up the seat, you're gonna find that there's storage in there. That is a great place to keep children's toys, to keep some electronic items, even to keep some hair products. Well, anything that you really want, that can be kept right in that hidden storage area. Now, these are just some of the spaces that I found in cruise ship cabins to store more items and some of my tips and tricks, but I know there are many. So please let me know your own tips and tricks for storing more in a cruise ship cabin, in particular, if you are more than two people in the cabin, please let me know down in the comments below. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.